Finley and I live in the northwest of England. This year has been one of my busiest fishing years and when I found out that I had a bit of spare time in autumn I decided to start my own campaign down at my local syndicate. busiest fishing years here and I've been travelling around the country fishing a number of day ticket waters so here's a short clip showing you what I've been up to. but I decided I would come down here every weekend trying to catch a carp. I decided that my campaign was going to be catching fish, not a Pacific fish, just enjoy my time on the bank and trying to catch numbers of carp. Right, so here it is, a beautiful little mirror, caught on a little pool, cast underneath a willow tree on the island. Get in. After that fish I was full of confidence and I put some more bait out and shortly after I was rewarded with a lovely common. Right here we go, the second fish of the session. It was a heavy fight, it got into a massive ball of weed and I thought I lost it. But steady pressure and we got him in. Beautiful fish, just caught on a liver floor, topped with corn. I'm going to get his slip back and I'll run you through the rig. Right so here's the rig that I've been using this session. It's only about 7 inches long of semi-stiff braid. Halfway down the rig I've got a piece of putty. This is to keep it pinned down onto the bottom. Then I've got a size 6 hook with a liner liner sleeve. This is just to improve the hooking hold. And also I've got an anti-tangle sleeve. This is just to stop getting into tangles when I'm casting out to the island. And then as bait I've just been using a Liverpool barley topped off with a piece of pop-up corn and that's what I've been catching the fish on so you never know we might catch another fish but let's get cast out so after that session I was full of confidence and I was desperate to get back down here so the next weekend I came back fish of the morning and what a beauty just look at them scales they're amazing it's only about nine or ten pounds I'm not gonna weigh it but a beautiful start to the morning hopefully we'll get a few more like this and even some bigger ones anyway thank you very much Mr Fishy and I'll put you back As you can imagine, after them two sessions, I was full of confidence and I couldn't wait to get the campaign truly on the way, but there was one problem. The weather was forecast to turn nasty. There was flood warnings in place and the temperature was going to drop. Also, the wind was going to turn to a northeasterly, so in my eyes, the next session was going to be my last one. It was quite annoying considering I'd only spent two or three sessions down at the lake, but I was determined to turn the final session into the best one. Since it was gone cold I decided to target a deeper section of the lake. This is because the carp like the warmer water and also to improve my chances I decided to pre-bait for a number of days leading up to the session. On my arrival I did manage to catch one. It was no monster but it was a start.
This recession continued, nothing else happened until my right hand rod registered a drop back. As soon as I picked up the rod, it felt different, just a slow steady plod and I was sure I'd hooked one of the originals off the lake. The fight wasn't that long, it was maybe about five minutes long, but when I seen the fish roll on the surface, I knew it was an original. And when it went in the net, I was absolute chuffed, but I managed to end the session on a high. One of the old originals from the lake, I was buzzing. Well, there we go, 17 and a half pounds. The second fish of the session, and what a beauty. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when my next video comes out. And if you'd like to watch my last video, then click the link here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Again, sorry it hasn't been a long video, but that's just forever up north, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck with your winter fishing this year, and I'll see you on the bank sometime.